Here is the part 2 of inoculation. Inoculation is the process where you add your oyster mushroom spawns to your substrate. After sterilizing for about 4 hours, allow the substrate to cool down completely. Clean and wipe down all the surface of your workstation and equipment with a mild bleach solution to kill any other germs or microorganisms lurking on your countertops. Before you start working with the substrate, wash your hand gloves with soap or sanitizers. Slowly remove the filter fitted paper from the bag containing the substrate. Ensure that your growing substrate has the right moisture and that it is not too dry or too wet. Ideally for sawdust brand substrate, it should be around 55% saturation rate. Here, quickly add the spawns into the bag and grasp the tip of the bag to avoid further aeration. The inoculation process is where many people make mistakes. If you contaminate the substrate, you may have mold that starts to grow on your substrate and mushrooms. This mold can be life-threatening to people that have penicillin allergies if they eat the mushroom after harvest. After preparing your spawned inoculation, it's time to start the incubation process. In this phase, the spawn you introduce to the substrate works its way around the bags and colonizing it. It's easy to create the idle growing conditions in your own home. Place your oyster mushroom bags in any room of your home out of direct sunlight. Perfect room temperature for growing your oyster mushrooms is between 68 degrees Fahrenheit to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The spawns will grow readily in the container, eating the nutrition it finds in the substrate. You will notice a white growth like a web when the substrate is entirely white. It's time to start the fruiting process.